Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we go through getting started with the new Get Package Manager inside the Visual Studio 2022. So NuGet is a package manager for .NET that allows you to easily add, update, and manage libraries and tools in your project. So by the end of this video, you will know how to find, install, manage NuGet packages to enhance your development experience. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So to get started, we're going to create a very simple console app. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on open your Visual Studio. Click on create a new project. So let's select a console app here. Click on the next. So here you can configure your project details like the project name, solution, location and whatnot. Yeah, we're not going to look too much into that. So let's go ahead and click on the next. So here you can select what, what dot next version that you want to use. So you're going to leave it as it is right now and click on the create. So as you can see here now, I had a, I've already got a, a, a console app open, so I'm just going to click down save so that we can go ahead. So now we have got a console app created for us now with a program.cf. So we have console the right line, which which will display hello world showing. So to continue, let's go ahead and and add this class to it. So let's go, let's create a public class. And let's call this person. Let's put some properties inside. Okay, so we've just created a very simple class with two properties inside. Uh, it's a person, ID, and name. So let's add one more. So let's put an int here, and let's call this age. Okay, so we've got three properties. So let's make this string nullable. Let's put a question mark here. Or let's, or let's just leave it as it is now. Okay, so now, now that we've actually um, created our person class, let's go ahead and open the new get package for this um, project. Okay, but before we do that here, yeah, let's try to do, let's try to do this. Let's go inside of um, the program and Initiate a variable string. Let's call this string uh, JSON. So this will be equal to JSON convert. So basically, this is this is what we're going to need. We don't have it. We don't have it in, on our system right now. We're going to need Newton.js. Okay. So what we do is we're going to comment this. Yeah, and then open a new get package. So we can do that by right clicking the project and clicking on the manage new get packages. Or we can also do that by going to the top menu, project, going down and then manage uh, new get packages. So let's click on that. So as you can see here now, we've got a new get package manager opened. Yeah, so here we've got um, the tab contains free, free list, the browse, installed, and updates. So basically, um, the browse tab allows you to search for new packages from the new get gallery. So you can use the search, this search part here. 
the search bar to find specific pack packages or browse through the different categories. So for example, we're going to need uh, newtonsoft.json. So we're going to go to the browse. So we click on the browse. So as you can see here now, we've got, we've got um, the loading. I think I've got a very slow internet today, so I'm just going to pause it. So, okay, so right now, yeah, I think my internet is running slow, but I've actually got um, a resharper, so we can, we can install it with resharper, but it's the, same, it's the same stuff. So basically, if you've got a very good internet, so you can type in Newton, Newton soft like this. Newtonsoft.json. Okay, so as you can see here now, it's showing now. So we, once you click on it, here, basically here we've got the version. So you can draw down and select what version that you want to install. And then you can, there's this, the package mapping, um, package source mapping is off so you can configure it as well. So you're not going to look too much into that. So what we do is you're going to click on install. So this, so basically this, we've got this from, so this, this is what we get. This is the changes that we'll be making to our, our project. So basically we are installing newtonsoft.json, this version. So we're going to click on apply for the changes to take effect. So right now, as you can see, it's installed now. So let's go back to the project. So as you can see, right now we are, we will be able to import the new thing .json .json .convert. So as you can see, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and do some put some stuff in it. So let's put the person. So basically, I think we have to put the new keyword here. Just a moment. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to remove the new keyword and this. And then we're going to call um, serialized object. So we're going to put the person inside. Basically, we're going to create a new a person here. So it's a person is so equal to new person. So we're going to put the ID for the person ID, which is an integer. So let's put one and the name. The name, let's put any name. So let's put a name like Paul. And the age. Let's put the age as 20. Okay. So here, inside this bit here, we put a, the variable person. Okay, so what we do is we're just going to put a console, console dot right line. So here, 
obviously we can display the, uh, the serialized object. So let's say serialized JSON. And let's put a person Okay, so let's let's just remove everything here and put a JSON just like this here. So as you can see, we've been able to um, we've been able to install our new team software JSON from our package manager into our project. But uh, if we want to do something, so we can go back to the project. I mean. To the package manager we go to the installed so as you can see here now we've got uh, a new thing software json installed so here we can uninstall it we can change the version that we want and whatnot so let's have a look at the update as well so as you can see here now so if there's any package that is due for update any package that you've installed that is due for an update will appear here okay so as you can see right now, there's no package due for update. So I will leave this video here and we might continue on making more videos based on this. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. You can also become a member of the channel. This will help the channel a lot. So have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.